Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the newest release from Meshuga titled Immutable. So, we have listened to this album nonstop for one week, and let's hear from the perspective of the non Meshuggah fan. What do you think? Couldn't do it? This was a rough week for me. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, if you guys watched it, I try really hard to like this band. I really, really do. Um... And I just, it just, they don't click with me. I can give them as much time as I possibly could in the world, probably. And I don't think it's ever going to work for me. It just doesn't do it for me. If I'm the one that's going to talk here, it's going to be a shit fest. I could shit all over this album all day long. There is very little redeemable qualities in this album for me. And I think that's pretty sad. I think Obzin was a better album because we reviewed that before. I think I gave that like a five. I'm pretty sure it right? was a five. Which for that album, for my sugar fans, I get I got flack for that. Like, but that's what I gave it. Um, I feel like this album is worse in every way than Obzin. Um, just the qualities I didn't like, I don't like about the band. Are, I, they feel like they're amplified here, which I guess for a sugar fan might be a good thing. Maybe I don't know, um, but. Instead of just shitting on the album, I thought I'd just do a little a little story time because it reminded me of something from my childhood. So back in grade six or seven, most kids learned to play a recorder in school, right? I didn't do recorder. In my class, we did keyboards. Not that that's important to the story, but that's what we learned on keyboards. Um, so we had one assignment where we had to choose. There was like a list of like five or six songs. We had to choose one of them and learn it and play it for the class. So everybody's taking turns playing their song and you know some people are doing okay, some people are botching it. But whatever. It gets to this one kid, David Manley. And the teacher says, okay David, which song did you choose? And he says, well, I decided to compose my own original piece for this assignment. And the teacher's like, oh, okay, um, what's it called? He says, this song is called Dark vs. Light. And he starts playing on the keyboard and all he did was play random stuff on the low notes and then random stuff on the high notes and then random stuff on the low notes and random, it's dark versus light. The genius behind this was, since it was his own original piece, the teacher couldn't say he played it wrong. He played it flawlessly as far as the teacher's concerned. And that's what this album reminds me of. Because to me, this is not music. This is a band playing whatever the fuck they want whoa, and whoa, saying, whoa, and say saying, <laughs> they're playing whatever the fuck they want and they're saying this is music because we're saying it's music. Well, that's what it reminds me of. I can I'm not saying verbatim this is that, but that's exactly what it reminded me of. A kid that doesn't know what he's doing, but saying, that's the song. You can't say otherwise. I mean, I'm honestly not, I'm really not surprised that you feel this way about the album. I'm just not. To say it's not music, I have to disagree there. That's just. I mean, it is. It, it is. Literally, it, it is. is, but it's. That's what it is. Hard to justify it. <laughs> As for someone who does enjoy this band, it was good, but I, the, the problem for me was that it really just didn't feel like anything new. It didn't feel like, wow, wow, those that, this Meshuggah album really, you know, really did something special. I'm just like, it really just sounds like average Meshuggah. I feel like for the most part, you think of this band, yeah, this is pretty much what you expect. Nothing really special really happened here. Even though there were songs I like, God He Sees and Mirrors is probably still my favorite song because every time it comes on, I think, oh yeah, this is the good stuff. You know, this is what I really like from this band. Um, I like the Faultless's riffs, um, and I still like I Am That Thirst, but overall, I was just finding myself being like, yeah, this feels like just average Meshuggah of what I would expect. Didn't feel like there's anything really special to it. There's no real true spark, but it's not like the, the good songs are bad. They're good. You know, there's, there's good stuff, and there's a few pretty solid ones. But, I mean, there are three instrumental tracks that are just completely pointless and a waste of space. The only one I would keep, and I believe I said this last week, is the last one if you cut it shorter. Mm. If the last track was like two minutes max, I think that's fine. But the fact that it's five and a half and you have one song that's just tremolo and then another song where nothing really happens sucks. And... I understand this band is very artsy. They're they're really abstract. I feel like this band is, if you're gonna compare it to a visual art, abstract art is the way to go. Cause it is yeah. still something that people who enjoy it really, really enjoy what it has to offer. It's just yeah. very non-conventional and very hard for people not into it to get into it. 
True. Mishuga, and I've said this before, is an acquired taste. Yep. Like, I don't blame you at all for just not jiving with this album. It's just, it's a weird band, you know? And if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's just, that's just what it is. I want to take back one thing I said just briefly. When I said there's no redeemable qualities, that's a bit of a stretch. There are some good riffs. There are some songs that start out pretty good, um, like I Am That Thirst and The Faultless. But my problem with these songs is that they don't stay good. They get to these points where they become mundane. The solos, I, as soon as the solos come on, I skip. I don't want to hear it. They, these are horrible, horrible guitar solos. And that's that's part of the part that sounds like somebody just randomly playing whatever he wants to go, well, that's my solo. That's what I wrote that. Yeah, I wrote yeah, that. I mean, the, the solos are very strange. I, wacky, man. I don't know. I can dig them. It reminds yeah. me of a solo you hear off Chaos Sphere, which is like that. But uh, I remember I actually sent you uh, Combustion, which is from Obzen, yep. to say like, you know what, this is a lot more of a conventional sounding track. I think you'd probably like this a lot more. No, I listened, I listened to it, and I remembered it. It's definitely better than this album, mm -hmm. but still still a tough, uh, a tough break for me. Well, I guess with that being said, let's rate this album. I guess I'll go first. Um, like I said, it's good, but I really feel like there are, not only there are issues I have with it, one, but two, it really feels like it's just Meshuggah for what it is. You know, it doesn't really feel like this is a really great Meshuggah release. They did this and that. It's like, okay, it's pretty standard. It's going to get a six for me. It's good. That's about it. How about you? Um, so my lowest rating on this channel so far is like, what, a two? Technically? It's a no. It's a no. That was that was saying anger. That, I rated yeah, that, that a no. <laughs> um, you know what? I, in, in all fairness, I'm not even going to rate it, to be honest. I enjoyed St. Anger more than this, and I gave St. Anger a nope. Wow. St. Anger was actually fun to listen to. That's why. It was fun to make fun of that album. This, I can't even do that with this one. Uh, people are going to rip on me in the comments. They're going to say, you don't understand it because you don't know how to count music. It's all about counting. you got to be Count Chocula to like this band. <laughs> I don't... It's not... Whatever. I mean, he knows He knows I can count a little bit, but I'm not. I'm not a school musician by any means. He's the counter. Anytime I need to know a time signature, I always message this guy be like, hey, what are they playing here? And he'll tell me. He knows his stuff. I don't know that well. For people that know how to count music, Meshuggah's right up your alley and I get why. It doesn't mean I don't understand what's going on. I do get it. It just is not tolerable for me in my ears. So I'm not gonna rate it. It's not fair for me to do so. I can't, what am I gonna give it a one? I don't know. I just, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I did not like it at all. It's unfair for me to rate it. Count Chocula. <laughs> That's good. I didn't mean, okay, I said Count Chocula, but I meant the fucking guy from no. Sesame Street. What's he called? He's just the Count, I think. I think he's just the Count. Either way, that was hilarious. <laughs> so, anyway, a six for me. Uh, I guess no real rating from Vile yeah, Self. Just N.A. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all we got for you today. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Comment, tell us in the comments below. Are you even into this band? Because like I said, they're an acquired taste. They're a tough I'm one to be into. some people who are with me. Of course, there's going to be some people with you. Some people, some with, people me. with me. I, I really think this is a very divisive band just for yeah. how weird they sound. For sure. Anyway, guys, remember to subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I'm TV Fish. I'm Vile Self. We'll see you guys later.